Um, my contacts tell me that once. the Empire has rejected my request for military assistance. That is regrettable, but not unexpected. The Tao Shiar are formidable opponents, as are the forces directing their action. I understand if the High Council is reluctant to engage in a battle that is not theirs. So today, I appeal to you, not as a comrade in warfare, but as an honorable warrior. My people need your help. I need your help. One of our ships was carrying a load of Thaleron weapons through the Nopata system. That ship has disappeared. There are no indications there was a battle. It's as if my ship and its cargo simply vanished. I know you have your reservations about the lengths to which I will go to secure the freedom of my people. Tell me, if you do not trust me with Thaleron weapons, do you want Hakiv to have them? I can provide you the last coordinates of the vessel. Please help me. Do what you will with the weapons, if they survive. But find my people! Right. Okay, so let's take this mission. The Riemann Resistance is very much in need of your help. This is Obisek, the leader of the Riemann Resistance. We had to check him out. Uh, we... he... They seem to have got ha their hands on some Thaleron weapons, which are extremely bad news. Um, uh, think turbocharged uh, biological and radiological warfare all at the same time. Um, but all living things are affected. Uh, yeah. It was shown in our, uh, one of the uh, uh, films, Star Trek films. I can't remember which one, sorry. Okay, Obisek is the leader. He has asked us to pass a request on to the Klingon High Council uh, for support, which our contact there has said, not yet, not yet. Um, go find some more information out get some proof of what he's accusing the Romulans of but we've been given leave to assist uh, and investigate and if we can take the sailor on weapons off the board uh, which he's talking about there then definitely that's something for us to do that's the honorable thing and Klingons might be fierce but they are honorable so we shall go take ourselves to the Napada system so there's the Napada system and off we go quite an attractive looking ship this this must be one of the shortest transitions to between stories that uh, we've had in this run through enter the Napada system okay here we go Science officer. Commander, I'm not reading any active vessels on scanners. There is, however, a debris field nearby. It's clustered around a satellite in orbit of the planet. And the composition of the debris corresponds with ships that have gone missing in this region. I'll keep scanning, sir, but uh, we need to take a closer look before I can determine if the failure on weapons are on one of the Hulk. Right. Let's go and get the crafting materials first. And then we'll come back and scout through the ship scanning. 
being a typical role player, you loot whenever you get a chance. Normally means you have inventory management problems, but uh, we'll worry about that down the line. Scan ship. Commander are not detecting the vessel Obisek sent to find us, but all the ships in the debris field show signs have been affected by the same thing, a high frequency energy beam that overloads all of their systems. The Riemann ship was hit by that beam. It might have crashed onto the planet's surface or gone adrift somewhere else in the system. I'm detecting energy readings from the satellite, sir. If the Riemann's crew detected them as well, they could have tried to use uh, it to record a distress signal. Uh, we need to be closer uh, before I can attempt an uplink to the satellite's communications array. Whoa! We can turn, but we have no forward. Can't target. Let's see if we can block the loop. Scanning the satellite. Commander was stuck. This beam is holding us like a, uh, a fly in a spider's web. We have managed to keep life support and environmental systems active, but almost everything else is offline. Shields, weapons, engines, and nothing to work. Not detecting any life signs on the satellite, sir, but there's a compartment with life support. The system operating in the base must be automated. Chief says we have enough power to air in the backup for one transport. Recommend you send the team over as uh, sorry, team over to the satellite and find a way to turn that beam off. Right. We're ready to beam over on your orders. Beam to the satellite. I'm not going to take my first officer. Need somebody here to man the. Uh, I'm going to take an, another engineer over. Right. Accept. Right. The. Uh, Consoles here appear to be control that be uh, draining the power up from the garage, but seems to be security lock preventing access. We need to find a useful console, usable console. Operational states locked online. This console is engaged in another operation. Oh, looting. A rarer particle this time. Right, so, not that one. Access power generator override console. Power save modes disengage. Power priority sorry, process uh, priority order overwritten. Let's just switch that to that for the moment. That's giving me the information now. Right, okay, so. Power access power generation console. Engaged in another operation, so it's not. I spy some more uh, loot to have. More Z particles. Right, over we go. What have we got here? Target access, sorry, access target override control. Long range scanners overridden, selection algorithms, ship identification program overriding, uh, friendly safeties, uh, telemetry data, telemetric, telemetric data, false target selection. 
uh, fire and control automated action. Well, we can't do anything there. Access target a satellite targeting console. This console is engaged in another operation. Right, we have a, another. Where is it? There it is. Access cargo bay console. Aha! This console doesn't appear to be locked like the others. Whoever did this must have thought that the console used for inventory control uh, must not have thought that the uh, console used for inventory control was important. I think I can access a backdoor into the rest of the satellite programs from here. I see the problem. The rom this the Romulan consoles are caused. Uh, causing a lockout by forcing the satellite's primary processors to run through a series of equations and removing key bits of information from the answers, which causes the processors to lock up. If we can solve these equations and input the correct information directly into the consoles, uh, the security lock uh, on the satellite's controls will be should be released. I've downloaded the corrupted equations onto this console for you to work on. If you need help, consult your bridge officers. Aha, right. So, nine. So, yeah. So that's going to be a seven. Locking position. So that's actually showing correct. Right, B. Ask the bridge officers. There's no seem to be a way of doing it, but doesn't like one. Doesn't like eight. Likes nine. Ah, that's the way of doing it. Right, cycle to the next set of equations. Okay, so what have we got? Let's just do it the same trial and error. but it's working. If I'd got a calculator to hand I'd be using a calculator but uh We solved the equations that were causing issues with the other consoles. Now we need to plug these correct values into the consoles controlling the security lock, and then we should be able to access all the satellite's major operations. Use the solutions in the equations to release the uh, security lock. Okay, let's see if we can kill the power. Ah. 
access generator over it. Right. Access power generator console. This control uh, console controls the satellite power supply. Perhaps we can decrease the power uh, to the weapon satellite. Right. Right. Update power save modes. Switch to economical. Error. Current power usage is allocated to targeting. Right. So we can't do that. So can we go to process priority? Restore factory defaults. Error. Current. So we can't do can't down the power with current power levels. Access satellite operations override console. Right. So let's unlock the console. Let's see if we can change operational states. Satellites. The operational state to off. We have an error. Current power usage is level, so we can't uh, too high. Right. Okay. This is the override control. So that's unlocked. Controls the satellite's targeting functions. Not sure if there's a way to disable whatever uh, is disabling systems on our ship, but if we can get the satellite to target something else, we'll have a chance to of prying our ship free. Right, access long range sensors. Current targets. Yep. Okay, so let's go expand the targeting range. Open ship identification program. Reclassify Derelict Hulk active because that's Derelict Hulk's non. Yeah. Derelict Hulk. Uh, right. Examine tele uh, telemetric data for all identified objects. So we have two objects detected. Access targeting control. Designate derelict Hulk as priority. Session. Commander, the satellite has ensnared a piece of debris near the ship. Strength or hold on us is weaker, uh, but we are not out of the woods yet. Critical systems are stable, but we still don't have weapons or long-range communications. So we're not losing power, which is something. didn't want our ship to become a derelict hulk. Let's try for the power again. Uh, for access power con uh, generates a console. Okay. Update power save modes. Set to economical. That's not taking it over there. There's the uh, set process uh, priority values, restore factory default settings, factory default settings restored. We found that if we don't, uh, the garage doesn't, uh, does not attempt to move or fire at satellite, it will engage a lower version, power version of the beam affecting us. It's almost like an energy saving mode. We can use that to our advantage, at least we won't have to worry about life support. Uh, We'll hold the ship stable and keep working on boosting power to critical systems while you try and disrupt the uh, satellite's functions and free us. Right. Turn off all satellite operations. This console controls the satellite's general operations, Captain. Managed to uh, minimize the power output of the satellite, 
but I think if we keep it at it we can switch the satellite's controls over to sleep mode that will shut down everything but life support and power. Change operational state. Change set the satellite's operation state to off. End session. Captain, systems are coming back online all over the ship. We have weapons, shields, even the replicators are working again. Transporters are standing by. We can beam you back as soon as you're ready. Return to the ship. Before I do that, yeah, just checking. Return to ship. Hang on a sec, this isn't the ship. Where am I? Some kind of holding cell. No guards. Now what? If we fail to comply with command, now we fight or we die. Make sure you pick up a melee weapon. All of your gear is deactivated, and I won't protect you in there. What are those weapons I've over there? I've never seen those weapons used before by anyone in the arena. I think the mercenaries who act as the occasional guard thought that those weapons might actually be worth something, unlike the beat-up ones they let us use. My best guess is that they're looking to sell them at some point when their contract here is up for some extra money. Okay. given us a lurper a Klingon lurper right what are, uh, we've done that one remember to equip your new weapon yeah okay so weapons ah we still have our battle if our Go. Commencing test one. No part in the desert, Makari. How are people with spiders? deactivated all my kit like I still loot right where am I supposed to go there's this indicator right 
great. not going to let me take any more. And the cell door swings open. Don't like this. Right, okay, so talk to Smalik. What do you want? Smalik, we met this guy. How did you get here after escaping from installation 18, which was yesterday? I remember you as well. It seems your prison break, however well intentioned, just ended up the same way. It's enough to make me think that I keep picking the wrong side. After escaping the installation, I joined up with a freighter. We were passing near the system when we were snared by a satellite and drifted into the planet's atmosphere. The ship crashed, and even though I activated an emergency transporter to beam several of us to the planet's surface, we were captured almost immediately by a group of soldiers. Since then, I've been stuck in this cage watching my former crewmates fight and die in this arena. Now I'm the only one left alive. That is all I know. Soldiers? What kind of soldiers? I don't know who was responsible for this place. The trainers and the guards all appear to be mercenaries without any clue about what's going on. They're paid to keep us in cages and look the other way. The night I was brought in, I was interrogated. There were bright lights in my eyes and a synthetic voice asking me questions. Whoever it was took care to conceal his identity. Any idea what they want with us? I have no idea what they want with us or why they make us fight. This all seems like some sort of giant game, but there is no one in the stands to be entertained. Am I the only person you've been... Are there other prisoners being forced to fight? I think there are others. I hear other fights. If there are other prisoners, I have never been able to contact them. We are kept separated and caged unless we are fighting. Have you tried to find a way to contact the other prisoners? I do not wish to continue talking with you. I'm sorry about what I've said. Can we continue? Now I recall. You were working on all those errands when we were attacked. I managed to escape on the shuttle, and some of us signed on with a freighter. As you can see, things didn't work out so well after that. So you wound up working as a stevedore to make ends meet. What happened after that? Hang on, the story's changed. We were transporting a shipment of Thaderon weapons. I know that your people will not use them. We do not want to, but our fight is getting desperate. We needed to do something, anything, that would shift the tide of war. Even if that choice was horrific. I jettisoned our cargo as we were entering the atmosphere. The weapons were completely destroyed. Good. I've seen what Thaleron weapons are capable of firsthand. I could not allow them to contaminate a world not involved in my people's fight. Any idea who brought you here? I don't know who was responsible for this place. The trainers and the guards all appear to be mercenaries, without any clue about what's going on. They're paid to keep us in cages and look the other way. The night I was brought in, I was interrogated. There were bright lights in my eyes and a synthetic voice asking me questions. Whoever it was took care to conceal his identity. Any idea what they want with us? I have no idea what they want with us or why they make us fight. This all seems like some sort of giant game, but there is no one in the stands to be entertained. Am I... 
The only person you've been paired with so far. I've had several partners in my battles. You are the only one about which I've been questioned. You must have impressed our masters. I know you have impressed me. Are we the only ones here? I think there are others. I hear other fights. If there are other prisoners, I have never been able to contact them. We are kept separated and caged unless we are fighting. How many fights have you been in? Too many. Do you know any uh, any way past their defenses? The trainers carry key cards. That's the only way I know to get through the defenses. Do you think we can get one of those cards? Can I trust you? Yes. I can see that we think the same way, friend. A few years ago, I worked as a bodyguard for a Ferengi merchant. He had a talent for acquiring latinum. And during my time with him, I learned a few things. I was able to lift a key card from one of the trainers during my interrogation. If you help me, I think we can overpower the guards and escape through the main door in the arena. Well, let's get out of here. Right. Wait to be let out is what the uh, mission task says. Up. Oh, return to the arena. If you fail to comply with command, you will be punished. Let's see what we've got. Oh, wonderful sandworm! Scenario four activated. I have. We need more help. I'll try to free the other prisoners. You fight the worms. That's big. Use the consoles on the sides of the arena to fight the Elder Worm! Console. Just like last time. Use the remaining console on the side of the arena to fight the Elder yeah. Worm. That's it. Yes, that's it. There's another set of consoles on the metal wall. Use them while the worm is distracted. Yeah. Yeah. I've been hit. I nope. can't continue, my friend. Where? You'll need to protect me. Oh. 
Professional. Back working again. Good. After the disabled. Right, access gateway console. Access communication log. Accessing most recent communications. Our master's thin Raya's patience, Harkiv. At times shows grow short and you're still uh, still you have not provided all the species data that they require. Are you having such uh, are you having trouble acquiring targets? I do prov I I provide you with necessary technology to modify the satellites in the Napada system but your little snare is slow what we need is more test subjects perhaps a small colony would be enough I will contact you again to work out the details okay uh, transport log Napada base Delta that's the sailor the Imperial Romulan warship uh, Sila is the Emperor's uh, Empress's uh, ship. Bree three, I'm not sure. I should know that one, but I don't. Dira four would be in a Hearth listening post. That's we've been there definitely. Is there anything else? Sorry, it was broken there. Uh, access gateway controls. Access denied. Gateway shut down in 10 seconds. Oh, what a pity. We shut down the gateway. We've got another console here. Uh, new subjects. Oh, me. T initial subject threat level is high and the risk of escape or intervention in testing is elevated. Notify Colonel Hakeev and escalate to level 6 trials. Test parameters. Project goal. To develop a matrix of alpha quadrant species, we must determine which species can be pitted against one another for maximum devastation, devastating effect on to each. Tests will be not be limited to sentient species as the Iconians have technology that will allow us to effectively introduce new flora and fauna to alien worlds. Okay. Uh, re access research observations. Honored Master, it will take some time to complete my report, but I have some personal observations for you that may prove useful. Please consider them when you make your plans. Humans and Klingons show greatest uh, proclivity towards fighting when there is no chance of victory. Breaking a Vulcan's emotional control will usually render him helpless. They have no ability to process the emotions that they so zealously uh, suppress. The Jorans will fight to the death to defend home and loved ones, but they may reject a fight which doesn't threaten which they hold dear. Petersoids will detect betrayal almost instantly, but their telepathic senses can be overwhelmed by extreme pain or violent thoughts. This can allow an infiltrator to escape their notice. A possible wedge to break the Gorn Klingon uh, Empire may be the Gorn. More than 77% of Gorn captives choose to help another Gorn before assisting a Klingon, even if that choice resulted in the death of the Klingon. Herogen are most, uh, formidable in single conflict, but their fractured society reduces their threat level significantly. I've been unable to uh, separate a trill symbiote from its host uh, for separate study. The two attempts to implant a symbiote in a host from enough of the species have failed. Both the symbiote and the host died within hours. Undine, uh, quite interesting. I request more time to study this race in greater detail. 
access records for prisoner 1478. Captured among small groups of Riemann soldiers by Desert Patrol. Interrogation inconclusive. Recommend use of holographic conditioning. Single use test. Single combat test. Subject was wounded on four occasions but survived all tests. Recommendation. Prisoner 1478 may be a subject for team testing or alternative study. Forward data to Colonel Hakeev for evaluation. Uh, personal log. Uh, they've contacted me again. My associates have two tasks for me now. First is the destruction of the Remans. I understand their anger. The Remans are attempting to rise above their station. They are mindless slaves and need to be respect their betters. Taris was, was able to control them. After uh, Starfleet captured her, the surviving Remans developed delusions of self-worth. This troublemaker who calls himself Obisek who is he to tell uh, them what uh, they could be free? Does a beast of burden have the right to choose its destiny? Ooh. If the problem was not so irksome, it would almost be comical. Uh, be almost comical. I will present here Obersex's broken corpse to the Iconians in tribute. It will reward me richly for my loyalty. The second task will make take more effort. The Iconians want data. They want the species of the Alpha uh, Quadrant tested until they break. They want to know their weaknesses and how to exploit them. They want to see the strengths and know how to destroy them. I'll admit I'll take no little pleasure in this task. It'll be quite entertaining to make some of those self-righteous humans turn o uh, on one another or push one of those blundering blackouts from Kronos until he begs for death. Oh, and the Vulcans. I will make Vulcans weep, and I will savour each tear. I know an abandoned Colosseum in the Nopada system. Uh, we can find a way to lure test subjects there. It'll take time and effort, but I'm confident we can do what the Iconians want. Right. Let's get out of here. Right, where's... No, nothing that way. More cages. Hang on. What have we got there? A pipe with big grates. Yay! Those brackets from Kronos. How could he? How could he? Right. Come on. Load. Watch out! There are Romulan Scorpion fighters overhead. They're looking for us. We need to move quickly and smartly to avoid detection. I recommend we head to the east. See that mountain in the distance? My ship crashed on the other side. It may have something we can use to signal your vessel. The search for us will only get more intense the longer we stay here. We need to get away from the arena as quickly as possible. Okay, so... Don't run into cactuses. There's a fighter heading straight for us. Quick, take cover in those dark rocks over there and wait for it to pass overhead. Stay still and wait for that fighter to pass overhead. If we are fortunate, they won't detect us. see us. Let's move on. I can't go on. My injuries from the arena are too painful. We need to find a place to rest for a moment. That'll give us some cover from those fighters overhead. Not a lot. Forgive me, my friend, but the pain... 
I need to rest, just for a moment. My wounds are agonizing. Oh, I fear the worm's venom may have infected me. The pain is excruciating. My vision is blurred, and my blood burns in my veins. Before we were captured, my science officer said that the local plants here have medicinal qualities. Please, I need your help. Find something to ease my suffering. I need something to disinfect my wound, something to treat my fever, and anything that will ease my pain. Thank you, my friend. I know that I would have died today if it weren't for you. Right. Let's test these plants. This plant has analgesic qualities. It won't be as strong as anything we have in the med bay on the Garuga, but it will take the edge off Soramic's pain. Uh, it might be enough to get him on his feet again. The type of plant grows in the shade. Look up to the side. Uh, look for it on the sides of the hills and the cliffs. Right, what have we got here? This plant looks as though it should work as an antipyrelic. Uh, that should uh, uh, alleviate uh, Siamic's flavor fever. Fortunately, this particular plant doesn't. Unfortunately, this particular plant doesn't look uh, healthy, and you aren't going to get much sap from it. Let's see if we can do that again. Scam plant. That shaking was just doing my head. Um, this type plant likes sunny and windy uh, growing conditions. Look for it at the tops of hills and on mountains. Um, we've got a different plant down here. This plant looks as though it work as a disinfectant. Should be strong enough to clear out whatever uh, infection Solomix uh, might have picked up in the arena. But we'll need more samples from this type in order to uh, deal with the injury of severe Solomix. This type of plant grows in the washes of the desert. Look for it in large flat areas. So two from the hills. And one from a flat area. That's two out of three. I think that's going to be enough. Shady there. That got seed pod. Right, sunny and windy. Well, if this is the shady side, then the other side hopefully is the sunny side. Up the fighters don't seem to be coming out this far. Well, seems starting to cut that slope. Right, let's get back to slow Nick. Try not to break a leg on the way down. Uh, cling onto tough. Right, okay, so we left him the other side of this hill here. Good that for uh, you guys in uh, lurking there. Thank but you, my friend. I'm feeling better now. I think I can continue. 
Okay, continue. That was pretty good, quick, the uh, treating him. I didn't see any first aid going on at all. Head to the canyon entrance, that'll keep the fighters off us. Feel free to clip anything that you think might be worth clipping because it's funny or good or even stuff that you think now I uh, could, shouldn't have to worry about the fighters could do anymore. better. Just the local wildlife. Keep your eyes open. Right. Like the arch. Have a grenade. Those are lovely sea lac cats, but uh, they were bigger than me, and they certainly would have wanted to eat me. As you join and lurk, please feel welcome. Um, please feel f that you can follow. Uh, it's free, it doesn't cost any money, uh, and it helps me. Um, and chatting also helps, so if you could uh, just say hi, introduce yourself, that would be absolutely brilliant. But, at the same point, if you want to lurk, just lurk. Whoa, there was some of the famed Riemann telepathy going on there by the looks of it. I saw something coming out of... Uh, sort of... Right. Heading up. Things we can gather we along not the way survive a night and to make the night more pleasant. We need to find shelter and safety. If we can scavenge provisions to create a camp, we'll have a better chance of reaching the wreckage of my ship alive. What do we need? The temperature is dropping. If we don't find warmth, we risk hypothermia. We can't use a phaser on the rocks here to heat them. They're too porous. We will need firewood. Look to the dry plants. If we can collect tinder, kindling, and logs, we will be able to create a fire that will last through the night. Okay. If somebody could actually try and put something in chat, it would be appreciated because I've made some changes. Um, I was told there was problems uh, previously and I've made some changes that should make it easier to chat right got take wood for fire The search patrols are moving on. We will not survive a night in oh, this desert. Done. It's the same conversation we've already had. Wish games wouldn't do that.
I love the shape of this tree. Take wood for fire. Right. Is that the same Search conversation? Yes, we've gone. had that conversation. Temperature is dropping. Had that conversation, we don't want to keep having it. Right, so take wood for fire. This is for Kinder. That should last us through the night. Let's get into this cave before the temperature drops and what cave? Okay, up here is it. Oh, we're leaving so a bit behind. Come on. Keep going. Keep going, Sonic. Where's this cave? Oh, is that the cave you were talking about? Yeah, that's the cave. That was a quick fire! The is dropping rapidly now. This cave should protect us from the elements. I've done some exploring. It looks like this cave continues when the sun the rises the side of the mountain. We could save time and energy by using the passage instead of trying to find a path over the mountain. Excellent. The passage saved us hours. This could walking. be a good day. Let's find my ship. Right. My ship isn't far from here. I think I can make out smoke from the wreckage on the horizon. Okay, let's keep going then. So there she is. She wasn't much to look at, but she was ours. And when we were flying through space, we were free. Perhaps she can help us one last time. Sure looks as though it's not going to fly again. That blue stang! How long have I been playing f uh, for? That's a... Uh, do you mean tonight? Or Star Trek Online? Or or, or, or what, what, do you, what do you have in mind? I've, tonight I've been up for, um, what, just over an hour? Um, this uh, Klingon tune it's the, the first time of do, hoping to do a complete run through of the Kling Online. Um, but I've been playing Star Trek Online for but probably best part of two years now. Didn't, we might but be able thank to you. Um, you. You've just helped me no end by putting that in chat. Because I wanted to know that people could... Um, uh, yeah, I've had problems with people needing to have been in the channel for a number of hours or days even before they could chat. The fact that you've chatted means that hopefully that is clear. So thank you. That is much appreciated. Right, what have we got here? There's no way this vessel will <laughs> ever fly again. No shit Sherlock. The damage done to the f uh, by the fall through the planet's atmosphere is severe. 
the emergency distress beacon that wasn't vaporized if the emergency va uh, distress beacon wasn't vaporized in the crash it's probably buried under 30 meters of rock and sand like the signality drive and the cargo base you do however find a backup generator with a minuscule amount of energy left if you had the right components you think you might could construct a makeshift subspace beacon to contact your first ship you won't be able to do anything more than transmit a few pulses to let your crew know where you are but that should do the trick right so we've got a generator Parts from uh, take parts from the subspace distortion. Ah, somebody else. Your character was born in 2013. I haven't played it uh, for a while yet, and I'm as lost as can be. What sort of character have you got? There's, well, yeah, there's, there's possibilities that uh, I could help you or get uh, hanged back in again of the game or um, a liberated Borg Starfleet and 55. Right, okay. So your character, right, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Well, I do have Star Trek, uh, Starfleet characters and uh, if you wanted we could perhaps... Um, arrange a time to help get you back into the swing of things if you wanted to or I could find uh, somebody else because I know people who uh, do help out so a liberated Borg does that su that suggests that you have uh, lifetime subscription or that you were a subscriber either way I'll be fine yeah yeah you yeah lifetime well you've paid an, uh, you paid the money so you might as well try and make some use of it even if it's just for a short period but yeah if you uh, if you whisper me uh, and we can perhaps af uh, after the screen uh, we can make an uh, arrangement and, uh, as to what works the best time for you to do something because uh, obviously it needs to be a convenient time for you is an evening the best time for you? It's UK evening, because of course it might be mid-morning where you are. Connect uh, makeshift emergency beacon to the power source. Right. Right, wait for rescue outside. Hey up, scorpion fighters. Did you think you could run Haki. from me? There is no place where I cannot find you. My spies are everywhere. Prisoner 1478, take your place. You did your job admirably. It is good to know at least one Riemann understands who is the Betrayed. master and who is the slave. Betrayed. The loss of the listening post was a minor setback. The Riemann's refuge in the Dera system has been destroyed. Dozens of subjects have been tested in my arena. When the Iconians return, they will find I have done all they have asked, and more. But you will not be there on that dreaded day. This tiresome game ends now. You could have been such a fascinating test subject. 
But this time, no. This time I think a more direct approach is best. Ready? Aim? Just in the nick of time. Just in the nick of time. I apologize for Slamik's action. I had no idea there was a traitor in our midst. If his actions caused harm to you or your crew, forgive me. That was not my intent. However, your trip to the Nopata system was not in vain. Now you see. Now you know. Akiv is a pawn of a greater power. The demons of air and darkness are here. You should report to your superiors. Tell them what you have seen here. Open their eyes to the dangers that lurk in the shadows. Okay. So, we have finished the mission. Congratulations, Clink! 